Welcome back everybody. Today we're going to be continuing the galaxy build. There it is. I'm going to put some lights on the body and maybe the neck today. Uh, if we've got if we've got time, chuck some lights on the dish as well. This is this this is my um, source photo. So there are a lot of different lighting configurations that you'll find for this ship, and the show is not like this lighting. Um, the show lighting is really an, really annoying. <laughs> I've tried it out a few times and just rolled back. So I think we're going to go with this. So uh, let's get started. Okay guys, so after much time and uh, stuff, we basically finished adding in the upper body lights, so the deck, deck windows I guess, they've come in alright, we've used blue glass or blue, blue crystal armour in front of the light. When it's lit up, you can't really see it, but it does add, it adds quite a bit, I think. Even though it could be bigger and it could be brighter and all that business, it does the job. So I think I'm going to take that and uh, do the same thing underneath the dish next, which is going to take ages. Okay, so the next challenge is going to be putting lights underneath outside the black ring but inside the flat bit <laughs> so yeah this will be fun uh, <clears throat> and for a little update clip okay guys basically this is the 50 hour version now I've finally put in the underside lighting it's not perfect but to be honest from a distance it does the trick and it's really difficult getting parallel lines on you know the closer up you can see how it was quite difficult because there's a ridge and it's diagonal as well so i've had to change it from straight to a two split ev8 long to a 222 to a 111 and just hope that i can continue that pattern around um and for all intent oh i also shortened this black line because i realized it doesn't actually go all the way to the neck it just stops there so those are the major the major alterations um in the for the last two hours i'm now going to start doing either the top of the dish or the neck i haven't decided yet so probably the neck because the neck looks like a great place to start and it'd be nice to not work upside down for a while because it's really fiddly doing this all the time. <laughs> but there it is, guys. And um, I believe I'll be putting another resource up soon. So be sure to check the ship site. So you can remember, guys, if you didn't know, you can download this and take it out and fly it around the universe on your single player or on any server where an admin will give you such a massive ship. It's currently weighing in at 281,000 mass which is 2.8 million blocks and it is it says it's 749 all right but actually there's a reason it's 749 um the reason it's longer than the one to one scale it is one to one at 649 like length um and the reason it shows up as 750 is because there's a hundred block gap between the back of the ship and the cambot cam which i have at the very very back here's my cambot cam which i use to fly from behind the ship sometimes so that's actually part of the ship and as you can see there's a good hundred meters you know between it and the ship so i just thought ah it's like a remote camera you know so yeah that's that i'm going to carry on so start again been just got. You got to put it in It's supposed to be the, the other way up, up damn it. Well, I'm going to have to flip it. Does anyone know how to rotate a core? 
Okay, guys. We've gotten to a point where it's time to do another another recap. So here it is. It might just look the same to you, but all the lighting is now done on the body, the neck, and the underside of the dish. And it's starting to really take shape now. We're up to 53 hours. So let's take the shuttlecraft out and have a little look around at it. Here we go. So the 53 hour version of this is going to be up on Star Made Dark in about an hour. It's the 11th of December. And I'm hoping to get more lighting work done to it over the next couple of days. So keep an eye out for more updates. The weapon system is fully working. It has jump drive. It's got 75% overdrive, radar jammer. Uh, scanner, long range missiles, um, ion swarm, heat seeking, it has a drone bay at the back just like the one in the blueprint. See it's only a standard size dock but it's there. Uh, soon to feature an interior. Right, let's get inside. Fire everything! <laughs> and barrel roll. Oh, what? Did I run out of power? Damn it! I can't keep firing my big beams until I've... Did I seriously run out of power? I did! I managed to sh wow. I think it's because I was going full speed at the time. Yeah, with overdrive on. Well, there it is, mate. There's your picture. Now, the mount, the, the dismount, come on. Flawless dismount, come on. Now I just need to get the top of the dish. Wow, it makes such a big difference. A few beacons, some red and green lights, and we're good to go now. <laughs> 